I began my project by focusing on three major sites in Western Sydney, the Paragirls site, Penrith Beach and the new Powerhouse Museum in Parramatta. It was really interesting to observe some of the common themes in all of these sites, which were found to be gender, water, education and media. The Powerhouse Museum was selected as a location for an intervention, as this is already a place dedicated to education and would benefit from a greater connection with the local history in Parramatta. So which features were in the final design? One, the idea of a vertical garden emerged to actively engage the community. Two, often prevalent in nature and mathematics, the spiral ramp shape was eventually selected as it is visually appealing, but also offers practical benefits. Three, inspiration from the Parramatta's history of the eel was also used as inspiration for the pathway design. Four, principles of philotaxis, otherwise known as the golden angle, which is the optimum angle for plant growth efficiency. And then five, the final feature of the design is intentional flooding. This incorporates the historical significance of floods in Sydney's local history. The inner part of the structure will allow water to move with the tide and flood when the river floods. For my design, I then had to select materials that could withstand being near or in water. Concrete was then selected due to its favourable compressive strength and minimal maintenance requirements. It usually does have a great environmental impact. However, the design will incorporate fly ash cement as opposed to Portland cement, which is a more sustainable choice. I also came across shell concrete, which I decided to apply to my ramp design. It was selected for its material efficiency, structural strength and overall sustainability. A finite element analysis or FEA was carried out in SOLIDWORKS on the ramp. A 3D analysis was performed in ANSYS Fluent to simulate the surrounding flow of the river. A pressure contour was then created to determine the potential loadings on the structure. The final stage of my project involved briefly looking at various construction techniques that would be involved in the final design.